this is a truss bridge, and you can tell it's a truss because of the way it is, but also because it's made up of triangles. Unlike a standard simply supported beam bridge, a truss bridge is a lot stronger and can span longer distances because of the way it distributes the load across the bridge. Let's follow the load distribution through the bridge. If I'm standing here in the center, my weight is acting downward on the bridge, and it's pulling these two diagonal members because they're getting pulled there in tension. To balance that out though, once it hits this vertical member, this one's in compression. And we follow that to the end. Tension, compression, tension, compression, tension, compression, and finally the load exits the bridge at the abutment. Boom, truss bridge. By distributing loads on the bridge between the top compression member, the bottom tension member, and all the triangles, truss bridges get a lot of extra strength compared to simply supported beam bridges.